Hello, welcome to the App Code blog on YouTube. Today we're going to continue in the series on building a tab bar application. In the first installment, we just created a very simple tab bar app that had three tabs corresponding to three views. Today, we will be adding a segmented control to the first view. So, open up the app that we finished with last time. If you don't have it, you can get it from www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash hello world tab dot zip and that will give you the app that we're going to be starting off with we're going to be building on so let's go ahead open up Xcode and then select our app and we're going to begin in interface builder so double click main window dot xib and in our document window let's select tab bar controller and then go to attributes inspector here and we want to work with our red view, which corresponds to our red tab over here. So we're going to select these little arrows next to the red view, and we're going to select Navigation Controller. Now, if you go ahead and select the tab, the red tab, you see it added this navigation bar, where these other tabs don't have it. What we want to do is drag one of these segmented controllers onto that navigation bar and it's going to replace the title there which right now says item. So we're just going to drag that on there and then here is where we will be able to change the name of each segment, what, what gets displayed in each segmented control there. So we're in our attributes inspector. I want to select segment zero and I'm just going to name that one magenta and then I'm going to select segment one and I'm going to name that one fire engine. Now fire engine didn't fit real well so we're just going to drag this and open it up a little bit. Just like that. Okay that was easy to do. Now let's go on in back to Xcode and let's open up our red view controller header file which is right here and we're going to add a variable for a UI segmented control. We're just going to name it segmented control. And then we're going to create the properties for it. And we want it to be an IB outlet so that we can access it through Interface Builder. Because we're going to link it up there. And then we're also going to define one method a IB action that we will name segmented control changed. All right, now let's go ahead to our implementation file. I'm going to copy this name here and open up our implementation file and we're going to synthesize that variable we just created. That's why I copied that name. Now I like to get rid of all this extra stuff that we don't need for our very simple app at the moment. So I'm just going to delete all of this extra code that we don't really want. And I came from a background in Java where we liked to do our braces like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that. Now we want to implement our method. I'm just going to copy it. Bring it over to our implementation class. And all we're going to do in here is a very simple switch statement. It's going to be segmented control, selected segment index. And our first case will be segmented control zero. And all we're going to do is log to the console. Whoops what we've selected. So this one will say magenta selected. We want one more case. So I'm just going to copy that. This will be case one. And this will be fire engine selected. All right. Now you'll see if we go back to our header file, our segmented control here was defined with retain as one of the properties. That means it increased a retain count to one. So somewhere, unless we want to have a memory leak, we need to release that. So we're going to go into the dialloc method and 
we're just going to release that in there. It takes care of our memory management. Okay, we can go ahead and close that. And let's go back into Interface Builder now. We need to get our main window back in view here. And then we're going to expand Tab Bar Controller and find our red. Expand that. Select View Controller. And we want to set the nib name to Red View. And then we'll go to Identity Inspector and select it to Red View Controller. Finally, while that's still selected, let's go to the Connections Inspector and we want to connect our segmented control to the segmented control over here in our view. And we're going to connect our action to that over there also and we're going to select Value Changed. And then what that's going to do is anytime we select one of these segmented controls, it says it's about, we're changing the value and it's going to fire off our segmented control changed IV action. There, let's save all that. Now, let's go ahead and hit Build and Run. And unless I've forgotten something, which is entirely likely, we should be able to see this in action. So remember, all we're doing right now is logging what we've selected into the console. So now, when we select the different segmented segments, you'll see it gets logged in the console. That's all there is to it. Now that we uh, are recognizing selecting our different segments, we can go ahead and add whatever code we want to handle that case. That's all we're going to do for today. Uh, tomorrow, or the next time I get a chance to work on this, we will add to this and keep building on this app. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for joining and watching the App Code blog on YouTube. And you can find many more tutorials at theappcodeblog.com on the internet. Thanks a lot. See you next time.